Good morning. Welcome to WWDC. You won't believe what Apple just announced in their WWDC keynote speech. While they covered a lot of stuff, we're here to focus on the juicy AI-related announcements. Apple had some sneaky AI announcements hidden amidst their usual product reveals. Plus, they've quietly acquired loads of AI companies the past years. But there's a lot more to talk about. Stay tuned for mind-blowing developments from Apple in the AI space. Let's dive right in and uncover the excitement. I know that some of you probably watched the keynote, and I'm curious if you also noticed that Apple actually didn't use the words artificial intelligence at all. Did you also notice that? It's quite strange, and I'm not sure why they chose to do that. Instead, they did refer to the term machine learning quite a few times. So the first machine learning feature Apple announced is the incorporation of AI into their autocorrect. They said their recent upgrade to their autocorrect feature goes beyond the conventional norms and that they've taken a significant leap by incorporating machine learning algorithms into the system. This advanced autocorrect now leverages the power of AI to understand context, predict user intent, and make more accurate suggestions. Here's a short clip showing autocorrect's awesome functionality, so you have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Autocorrect is powered by on-device machine learning, and over the years, we've continued to advance these models. The keyboard now leverages a transformer language model, which is state-of-the-art for word prediction, making autocorrect more accurate than ever. Sentence-level autocorrections can fix more types of grammatical mistakes. If an autocorrection isn't quite what you wanted, tapping the underlined word shows what you originally typed with the option to quickly revert back to it. And in those moments where you just want to type a ducking word, well, the keyboard will learn it too. When it comes to speeding up your typing, predictive text already helps you quickly finish, add, or change a word. And now you'll get predictions in line as you type. So finishing a word or even the whole sentence is as easy as tapping the space bar. And predictions improve based on the phrases and words you use, so they're more personalized. Another core part of the keyboard is dictation, which gets a new transformer-based speech recognition model that leverages the neural engine to make dictation even more accurate. These updates make typing on iPhone better than ever. So as you can see, Apple's strategy remains the same as it has always been. Focus on quality and an excellent customer experience. They keep improving existing technology, and now they're using AI to do so. But that's not all. Apple also unveiled their new journal feature powered by on-device machine learning. Imagine writing your journals with personalized suggestions inspired by your own iPhone data. It can pull from your photos, location, music, workouts, and more. This AI tool is set to revolutionize your writing experience. Pretty exciting, right? Here's a short clip showing its exact functionality. Using on-device machine learning, your iPhone can create personalized suggestions of moments to inspire your writing. Suggestions will be intelligently curated from information on your iPhone, like your photos, location, music, workouts, and more. And you control what to include when you enable suggestions and which ones to save to your journal. Some suggestions are personalized and some are reflection prompts to inspire writing across a range of themes. You can pick any of them to start a new journal entry. Let's look at this one of a trip. It includes where you went, the music you listened to, and photos you took there. You can add these to your journal in one tap. And when you do, there's even a writing prompt like, what was the highlight of your visit? So it's easy to get started. As you capture life's precious moments, you can mark important ones and revisit them later to help you find new insights or set new goals. And to stay consistent, you can schedule notifications for the start or end of your day to remind you to write and to tell you when new suggestions are available. And then there's personalized volume. Apparently it uses machine learning to learn our listening preferences. Let's have a look at what this feature can do. We are excited to announce adaptive audio. It combines the best of both listening modes into one, making it even easier to move through environments and interactions that are constantly changing. Adaptive audio dynamically blends transparency and active noise cancellation to match the conditions of your surroundings. 
so you can stay present within your environment while distracting noises are automatically reduced. And now, with personalized volume, we use machine learning to understand your listening preferences over time, together with the outside conditions, to deliver the best media experience for you in the moment. I, for one, am very excited about this. It's not a big deal to adjust the volume, but it is these small improvements that make our life a little bit easier, right? So what's next on the agenda? Apple's secretive project, Quartz. But before we get into that, we just want to ask you to hit the like and subscribe button because the AI that controls the YouTube algorithm needs that to boost our video. Something that Apple didn't speak about during their keynote, but that has come to light recently, is their secret AI venture called Quartz. Bloomberg actually spilled the beans on this a little while ago. So Quartz is a paid AI-powered health coach that could help you improve your exercise, sleep, and eating habits. The service will apparently use AI and data from an Apple Watch to make suggestions and create coaching programs tailored to specific users. However, Quartz won't be announced this year and is instead rumored to come out next year. The past months, major players in the AI industry such as Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI have been making a lot of noise with their AI announcements. I started noticing that Apple has more or less remained quiet all this time, so I did some research into Apple's AI ventures. It turns out that in the period from 2010 to 2021, Apple acquired the most AI startups out of all the tech companies, as you can see here in this nice graph that Statista made. That was really surprising to me. One of the more recent acquisitions has been Wave One, a startup focused on AI algorithms for compressing video. In recent reports, it is said that Apple has now acquired an estimated 50 AI companies. I don't know about you guys, but I have a strong feeling that Apple definitely has something in the works that they're not telling us about. While they might not shout it from the rooftops like competitors, Apple's commitment to quality and innovation cannot be ignored. Their entry into the autonomous vehicle space with Project Titan is another exciting chapter in their AI journey that we didn't talk about today. I suspect that Apple's got some tricks up its sleeve and will be here to dissect and analyze their AI advancements. What are your thoughts about Apple's AI ventures? Let us know in the comments. Can't get enough of AI? Here are some awesome videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the world of AI. Thanks for watching.